what I was, uh, was impressed with the uh, the workload by our team. I thought we uh, really good start to the game. We had I think we had five posts tonight, um, and I like the way we came out against uh, San Antonio. And uh, obviously uh, we played them a lot here in the last couple of weeks, but I thought uh, tonight was probably our best game that we've seen against them uh, in the kind of mini series. Alexia kind of really had that offensive touch tonight. He was, you know what? Uh, he's an offensive defenseman. He's got some skill there, and I thought uh, he had a lot of confidence tonight. And you know, he's been challenged down here to play that heavy game, and we know that he can kind of respond a little bit in the power play, and he got some power play time tonight. And and I uh, stepped up, especially on uh, on the second goal he scored there. Nice little uh, spin around there to beat the goaltender. So uh, it was good to see him contribute. And obviously, we, he's he ran our second power play unit, and uh, you know he'll be a big part of our success moving forward. He was doing a little bit of work sometimes in front of the net there too. Obviously, that's a big body that it's kind of hard for anyone to push around. Well, he's not supposed to be in front of that in the power play unless we get a five-on-three. But uh, <laughs> that's the one thing with with Ole. We've got to rein him in a little bit when to go, when not to go. But uh, you know, they were pushing, they were trying to score a goal shorthanded, and uh, you know, we got a, a three-on-zero from the top of the circles down. But um, he's a big body, and uh, you know what? When he plays a heavy game, he's very uh, he's very effective, and that's the game he's got to play to get back to Dallas. Angle his way through three guys like that at one point. I didn't get the question there. Is a big, big body like that. Someone looking that size, he's not supposed to be able to dangle three through three guys like that. Physics doesn't make sense there. You know, we've seen some great skill out of him. Like for a big man that can uh, handle a puck, his his range of motion with a puck is actually very small for a big man, but he can really get the reach out there. So uh, good on him. You know what? Uh, confidence is uh, tough to gain, and uh, the more confident a player is, the better he's going to play, and and uh, that's what we want to see out of him. Justin Dowling out. Just talk about the game that you got out of Jamel Smith tonight. I, th I thought Smitty was our best player against Oklahoma City the other night. I thought he really uh, picked up right where he left off, and uh, he was outstanding again tonight in that line. Uh, you know, he's got great legs, skates well, he's strong on the puck. Uh, he's probably one of our best forwards down low, protecting the puck and and uh, base of you know trying to defend uh, defenders off. But uh, he was really solid tonight, and uh, he scored a big goal for us there in the second period, and then he got the late one in the third. Penalty kill was good again tonight. Just talk about the, especially with the five on three situation that you guys managed to kill off there. Well, your penalty killing is key, right? You have to have great goaltending, but I thought uh, Greg Rowler really started that five on three with a great kill and uh, did exactly what we wanted. And obviously, I'm not sure who was on the ice defending Ole and probably Gonsard. Uh, they were outstanding in the penalty kill, but uh, that that was the turning point in the game. You know, killing that off and then scoring right after was, uh, you know, sets the tone for the game for us. But uh, penalty killing has been good. I'm not sure what the power play was. I think we had two or three power play goals. So. Uh, both Spath teams have been been pretty solid their last 12 to 15 games. Good little sequence here for Greg Rallo. Game he had a goal uh, against Oklahoma City. Goal and assist tonight. Yeah, he's been good. You know what? Uh, he understands his role their hockey club. He's a guy that's got to be uh, lead by example, and he's got to work for everything he gets on the ice. And uh, you know what? He's been solid for us. He just uh, he's a he's a he's a trooper. He's a true veteran that uh, comes to play every night. And when you got guys like him, Travis Moore and Max Fortunas, and you know Derek Meech, the veterans. It's pretty hard for the young guys not to follow. Fortuna's resting or healing him up, anything like that tonight? Uh, he's got a uh, upper body injury uh, that is day to day. Mm -hmm. So most likely maybe see him on Friday or Saturday. So we just decided that uh, we've got William Wren, you know, who hasn't played a lot. We'll put him in the lineup. And uh, so we had like, eight defensemen hanging around. So there's nothing wrong with giving, uh, you know, one of your older guys a night off. And, uh, you know, it was a good decision. Decision to put the C on Ma on uh, Travis's jersey then when he's when Max is out. Yeah, it is. You know what? You flip those guys around. Both guys they don't need a, a letter on their jersey to lead. They lead by example every night. So it just uh, it's basically a letter, and, and uh, those guys lead the same. Doesn't matter if they got an A or C. Just talk about playing with the and a physical edge tonight, but not really you know letting it I think boil over. Um, that led this team to to get this victory. Well, I, I liked our physical presence. I thought when you when you add in uh, Alexiak to our lineup, when you bring in uh, Renner, who's a little bit more physical than Maxi, and then you bring Henderson back in lineup, I thought they responded very well on the uh, on the line tonight with Peters and Nanjin. So uh, we got a little heavier as a team, which is uh, something we lack, um, and especially when you play San Antonio, they're so heavy. So for us, uh, it's a great way to finish off this home stand, and we got. 12 out of 16 points this last segment, so that's our best segment of the year, and we have to make sure we try and, and build on the next segment that's coming up. Impressed with Henderson's confidence for a guy. We talked about this morning about how it's one thing to skate, it's another thing to go into a corner with a guy and, and come out. It is, you know what? It, it's uh, for a guy that hasn't played probably in three weeks, for a guy to come back and you know try and get that confidence, get in the game shape there. I, I skated him the other day there, and, and he wasn't, he was probably a little bit out of shape, but. Uh, you know, give him credit. He had some penalty kill situations for us tonight, and uh, I thought he was very effective, uh, five on five, and 
play the heavy game, and, and that's all we ask of Play a heavy game, you know, create some energy for your team, and, uh, you know, he got in the scrum there in the second period. Don't mind the penalty he took. You know, at the end of the day, uh, we have to be able to have a little bit of pushback on our game, and, and that's something that uh, Kevin will provide. It's coming. You know, we're coming as a hockey club here, and uh, guys are playing for each other night in and night out. And you know what? Uh, you develop that as you you go through adversity. And you know, we've had our ups and downs this year with injuries and call ups, and we're trying to find our find our identity as a hockey club. And I think as we move along, you're starting to see that kind of grow with the with the the youngsters in the group and the veterans. Do you see a guy like Beach kind of pulling Smith aside and helping him out and things like that? Yeah, our guys are really good in the room. Like you know, if there's something that's got to be straightened out when the coaches aren't around. The veterans will step up with the young guys. You know, a guy like Julius Honker, who's 19, needs a lot of direction, and our veterans have been great with our young group.